Our next guest is dubbed the Julia Child of Asian Cuisine by the Washington Post. She's a chef and author of award-winning cookbooks, and today, Chef Corinne Trang shares a recipe from noodles every day. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Now, you need to correct me. Earlier, I called this a <laughs> soup, and it's not. That's what okay. Is it? <laughs> uh, this is a soba noodle dish. It's a cold soba, and it's uh, it takes on the idea of the zaru soba, which is a Japanese dish. And in this case, what I'm going to do is, you know, select any number of vegetables. Here, we're working with bok choy. Instead, in fact, we're going to stir fry a little bit of bok choy with a little bit of uh, shiitake mushrooms. Um, and I have some chilies here. These have been preserved in brine. But, you know, I mean, if you don't have bok choy, you could always use asparagus, you know, sugar snap peas. You can even use some zucchini. Uh, in other words, you know, if you can't find bok choy, use But you should be else. able to find bok choy. I see it oh, everywhere yeah, now. Oh, yeah, it's everywhere. And it's even everywhere. the shiitakes as well. The shiitakes are everywhere. Um, you can use dry shiitakes also as opposed to uh, fresh ones. The dry ones tend to have a little bit of a more intense flavor because, you know, the drying process concentrates the flavor. So <laughs> all you have to do is just really soak them in water and, you know, allow them to become pliable again and then slice them and stir fry them again That's so it's not a it's not a big deal but dry fresh it doesn't matter and again you know whatever inspires you at the market you can go to the farmer's mm -hmm. market for example and look at all the different produce and select any number of greens so this is a real easy dish it's served cold um, so here you know I've boiled the noodles so you actually still have the ice here you can see that. I have the ice right so soba noodles made with buckwheat flour it's really wonderful for you and here I'm just going to drain them out so the reason why I put them in ice cold go. water is mm -hmm. to shock them to stop the cooking process because the heat you know even though you're taking it off the heat it you know anything that you take off the heat will continue to cook unless you shock it the and way now, just done when it. you when you boil it is it similar to pasta you want it al dente you want it al dente yeah definitely Okay. Maybe not as al dente as, yes. as pasta, uh, but uh, definitely you want it on, on the chewy side as opposed to the gummy side. <laughs> Soba noodles are really popular. You're seeing all kinds of restaurants serving us now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, in, you know, in any number of restaurants, not just a Japanese restaurant, but Chinese restaurants also, and, uh, you know, any number of uh, Western-style restaurants where, you know, it's this whole fusion uh, cooking uh, thing going on. So... You know, yeah, you'll find these noodles, you know, even in a health food market, you'll find them served cold as well. So this is why, you know, I thought it's such a popular dish. Why not, you know, do something cold that's easy because you can cook the noodles ahead of time. And there are all kinds of soba noodles as well, but you chose this specific one for I this chose, one. Yeah, I chose the very basic soba noodle, which is, again, you know, buckwheat flour. But you can certainly find green tea uh, soba which is also wonderful, and it does have a really nice, intense green tea flavor to it. Nice. So either or will we'll do. And the green tea flavored one is also beautiful because it's green and it's just really nice and bright. So, oh, this was turned up, so guess what? We're going to cook this, and in the meantime, just as soon as I there figure you go. out how to turn it on here. We had it on. Um, oh, there there it we is. go. Very good. It's on. It won't take long. Okay. To warm up. So in the meantime, we can make the dipping sauce okay. or the, you know, the, the dressing. So I have some rice vinegar. And I'm just eyeballing this, but, um, you know, pretty easy. About two tablespoons of rice vinegar, about a tablespoon or so of soy sauce or tamari either. Tamari has no wheat in it. Uh, a little bit of sesame oh, oil. Sesame oil. A little bit of grapeseed oil. And just to counterbalance the saltiness of the soy sauce, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, sweet cooking wine, which is basically rice wine that's been sweetened. And is this somewhat like a vinaigrette? It's a vinaigrette, yeah. Essentially, that's, that's what it is. And just to give it a little kick, because I like my food a little bit of, you know, spicy. Okay, we have our uh, pan getting hot over there. That's terrific. That's where we want it. Okay, <laughs> and this is a little bit of red chili? A little bit of red chilies, that's it. You know, and it's optional. If you want to use uh, freshly cracked black pepper, you can do that. If you like a little bit of more heat, I use Thai chilies here. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to just take some chopsticks here and stir fry this. This is ginger, which I've grated. This is what you're smelling. It smells really good, doesn't now, can it? You, it does. Can you use the, 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 the jar? The, the, the pickle ginger? The jars, yes. Pickle ginger. Yeah, pickle ginger is actually wonderful. I wouldn't stir fry the pickle ginger, but I would use it as a garnish at the okay. end. And it has a nice little vinegary mm. flavor. So, yeah, it would cut right through the fat. It's really nice. It counterbalances, you know, the really rich flavor of the sesame oil beautifully. Right. So I'm going to throw in these now. It's going to stir fry hot. very quickly. We have about a minute left here. All right, so what we're going to do then, while this is stir frying, 
with the mushrooms. I'm going to throw all this in. Do you, you want me to keep Let's an eye put on the, it? Yeah, you can Here, keep an eye I'll on that. that. And I'm going to just put in some noodles in each of the bowls. Okay. Like this. Very easy. Like I said, this is something you can do a day ahead of time. This is comfort food so, for me. Yeah, I love noodles. noodles. <laughs> I think everybody loves noodles. It's comfort food for me, too. Anything that has to do with, uh, you know, the beautiful long strands. Like, plus, it's longevity. You know, it's a symbol of longevity. Yes. So what could be bad? And this is so healthy. And I'm just going to put a little bit of dressing on both. Okay. And do you think this is almost ready for that? Yeah. Absolutely. Oops. Okay. There we go. Great. Now, if you want Corinne's recipe, just come to our website and click on WTNH.com. And, uh, Corinne, are we ready for this? Yeah, absolutely. Right. Let's put some on put top. This right there. Okay. And let's put on some on top of this one. Whoops. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> We're We're stabbing the vegetables. Go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Terrific. Hurry here. You do there much you better go. with that than <laughs> I am. All right. Here. Very beautiful. good. It's beautiful, isn't it? All right, we're going to try this in a few minutes. Coming up next, it's a dance party Friday. Corinne, thank you so much thank for joining you. us. Featuring West Indies Dance with Connecticut Style Returns.